at 10. First, the highlight. Lagos State Government to collaborate with Nigerian Institute of Town Planners on staff training. Federal Government begins prosecution of electoral offenders from 2023 general elections. And on the foreign scene, every gunfire disrupts flight from sec for second day in Haiti. And in sport, English club Queen's Park Rangers inquires about Super Eagles goalkeeper Stanley Wavali. Now the news in details. I am Tim Dio Anthony. The Lagos State Government has expressed its desire to partner with the Nigeria Institute of Town Planners, NITP, on the capacity development of town planning officers in its employee. Commissioner for Physical Planning and Urban Development, Oluyi Kaolumide, made it known in Alausa Ikeja during a courtesy visit by the National President of the Nigeria Institute of Town Planners, Nathaniel Atsebiji. Olumide said one of the ways to enhance the performance of staff is through training and retraining, and the collaboration with NITP would be quite instructive in this regard. He emphasized that investing in human capacity will enhance employees' exposure and propel the development of the state, noting that the 21st century Lagos requires dexterity with modern planning tools. The National President, Nigeria Institute of Town Planners, Nathaniel Atsebiji, said the Institute is aware of the efforts of the state government towards the sustainability of the built environment, particularly the engagement of town planners and other professionals in recent times. While calling on the state government to recruit more town planners and other related professionals to enhance the implementation of development plan, Atsebiji said said the Institute is ready to support the training needs of the Ministry, adding that its rich training manual is quite instructive. The Lagos State Government, through the Ministry of Establishment and Training, has restated its commitment to working with Medical Guild as well as the Association of Resident Doctors to address challenges in the medical sector to elevate the healthcare standard in the state. Commissioner for Establishment and Training, Afolabi Anyotayo, today is showing a courtesy visit to the Ministry by the executives of the Nigeria Medical Guild and Association of Resident Doctors. Anyotayo, who described the two bodies as pillars in the healthcare system of the state, said the visit underscored the long-standing relationship between them and the state government. He assured him of government's commitment to supporting initiatives that promotes the welfare and professional development of the two medical bodies. Earlier in his address, the chairman of the Nigeria Medical Guild, the Lagos chapter, Moruf Abdesalam, thanked the management for the warm reception accorded to them and expressed appreciation to the ministry for their support. The Federal Ministry of Works has announced that repair works for the damage expansion joints on the Long Bridge will commence on Monday, 4th of March, on both bounds of the bridge. Federal Controller of Works, Lagos, Olukore De Kisha, made it known in a signed statement. The statement says traffic leaving and entering Lagos through the Long Bridge will be narrowed to two lanes on both sides of the bridge to enable the contractor handling the repair commence work on the two lane of the carriageway. It advised all motorists to be patient and adhere to lane discipline on both approaches to the Long Bridge and around the narrowed section on the bridge. Other road users advise to use alternative routes. Motorists afford advice to cooperate with traffic management officials deployed to manage traffic and ensure heat-free movements to minimize discomfort during the duration of the repair works. The Nigerian Navy ship Beecroft Operation Delta Sanity has arrested a Ghana-owned motor tanker, codenamed Sweet Miri, involved in suspected crude oil theft. The vessel was arrested approximately 320 kilometers off the coast of Nigeria, heading to the Republic. According to a statement by the NNS Space Information Officer, Hamad Ibrahim, the vessel had 13 crew, one Ghanaian and 12 Nigerians on board at the time of the arrest. The flag officer commanding Western Na Naval Command, Belu Hassan, 
was quoted in a statement as saying the vessel was carrying about 2 million liters of suspected product without approval and a switch off its automatic identification system to avoid detection on February 25th, 2024. Hassan also stated that the infraction necessitated the development of ship ABA to investigate the vessel, which was later found carrying product suspected to be crude oil. And now to the rest of the news. The federal government through the Nigeria Bar Association, NBA, has commenced the prosecution of some members of the staff of Independent National Electoral Commission, INEC, and political party members indicated for indicted for various electoral offenses during the 2023 general elections following the February 25, 2023 presidential and national assembly elections. The immediate past inspector general of police, Usman Baba, said over 700 offenders were arrested for violating electoral laws. INEC had on, 20, on May 22, 2023, said it will prosecute 215 and then over to it out of 774 persons arrested for various electoral offenses by the police during the polls. The commission said it was partnering with the NBA which offered to pro bono legal service for the effective prosecution of the electoral offenders, noting that out of 215 cases, 196 cases of electoral offenses are being handled by INEC and the NBA. The National Public Safety Secretary, NBA, Habib Lawal, said the suspects, including INEC officials and members of political parties, were being prosecuted for various electoral offenses, such as vote buying, arms possession and others committed during the 2023 poll. The law noted that the prosecution was being carried out in magistrate courts and high courts of the state and the federal capital territory. The chief press secretary to the INEC chairman, Protimi Oyekami, said that the commission will not condone bad behavior, adding that future offenders will be held accountable for their actions. Today is World Wildlife Day. The day is an opportunity to celebrate the many beautiful and various forms of wild fauna and flora and to raise awareness of the multitude of benefits that this conservation provides to people. It also reminds humans of the urgent need to step up the fight against wildlife crimes and human-induced reduction of species, which have wide-ranging economic, environmental and social impact. This year's theme is Connecting People and Planet, Exploring Digital Innovation in Wildlife Conservation. The 2024 Wildlife Day focuses on digital innovation and emphasizes how digital conservation technologies and services can drive wildlife conservation, sustainable and legal wildlife trade, and human wildlife coexistence. And now to foreign news. Flights at Port Au Prince Airport in Haiti capital have been disrupted for the second straight day by heavy gunfire nearby as the Caribbean nation grapples with surging gang violence and political instability. The United States Embassy in Haiti issued a security alert warning of gunfire and disruptions to traffic near the domestic and international terminals of the Toussaint Laverture International Airport as well as surrounding areas, including a hotel and the central directorates of judicial police. The embassy is temporarily halting travel of official U.S. personnel to the airport and instructing any U.S. personnel at the airport to remain there. It comes a day after shootings erupted across the Haiti's capital, forcing flight cancellations and killing at least four people during an attack on the police station. And now to sport. Super Eagles goalkeeper and Chippa United's goalkeeper Stanley Wambali has been linked with English Championship Club Queen's Park Rangers. This is according to Italian journalist and transfer expert Fabrizio Ramona. Wambali was one of the revelations at the 2023 Africa Cup of Nations in Côte d'Ivoire. That's by making his competitive debut for the Super Eagles against Equatorial Guinea. Wambali went on to keep four straight clean sheets. A performance which was which has drawn interest from clubs in and out of Africa. Romano said Park Rangers and Saudi Arabia side Alfie Turk has agreed that the short the short stopper but his South African club Cheaper United will consider his future move in the next months. 
The Director, Director General Lagos Sports Commission, LSC, LSSC, Lekon Fatudu, has held a strategic meeting with chairman of the Sports Association to seek their support towards the development of sports in the state. Speaking at the meeting held at a sport bar at Tesling Balogun Stadium, Surilere, Lagos, Fatodu said his administration will actively encourage sporting activities that will engage youths in the state. He stressed that there will be a limit to fixation on particular sport, saying there will be many sport activities to showcase that Lagos State is a sport hub in Nigeria. While commanding the roles of chairman station in driving the wheel of sport development in Lagos State, Fatodu assured them that there will be season of glory in different ways, from the perspective of improved welfare for athletes and robust support for sporting associations. On their part, the association chairman unanimously pledged their unwavering support to the Lagos State Sports Commission to empower youth talents through developmental programs. Just before we go, maintain adequate distance from the vehicles ahead of you to avoid collusion. You can follow us and like all our various social media platform. X, Lagos Traffic 961. Instagram, Lagos Traffic Radio 961. Watch us live on Facebook, Lagos Traffic Radio 961.fm. And on YouTube, please subscribe and watch all our previous programs and news on our channel, Traffic Radio 961. Did you know that the Samoan administration introduced a 1 billion Naira agriculture value chain fund targeted at businesses that operate within the agri value chain. You can get more details on the State Government website. To end the news, here are the highlights of the major stories. The Lagos State Government has expressed its desire to partner with Nigerian Institute of Town Planners, NITP, on the capacity development of town planning offices in its employ. The federal government through the Nigeria Bar Association, NBA, has commenced the prosecution of some members of staff of the Independent National Electoral Commission, INEC, and political party members indicated for various electoral offenses during the 2023 general elections. We also told you the flights at Port au Prince Airport in AT capital has been disrupted for the second straight day by heavy gunfire nearby as the Caribbean nation grapples with surging gang violence and political instability. And in sports, Super Eagles and cheaper United goalkeeper Stanley Wambali has been linked with the English Championship Club, Queen's Park Rangers. For contact with the newsroom, please send a message to newsroom at traffic radio 96.1.ng. That ends the news broadcast, compiled by Adewale Oluwo Paraku. I am Timmy Dyer Anthony. Many thanks for listening.